Welcome back to Mage. I'm Sean. I'm Chris. This is... What is this? <laughs> One Piece Chapter 995. It's a good question. We missed it last week. And yeah. it's been a long time since we've done it. That's what that means. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, I guess where we left off, a few different places. The last chapter is kind of split between a few. So, mm -hmm. Kaido looks like he's finally getting serious up top with the samurai. Took no his time, long. but you know... Yeah, no longer dragon mode. He's uh transform. He's got his sweet club, you know, looking powerful. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, Luffy's still lost. Sanji, and Jinbei are trying to guide him up to the top. They're like on beat yep. one or two now, or something like that. Could be a while. Yeah, that's they get there. Be a while. Maybe at chapter one thousand they'll get there. You know, um, one can only hope it's that fast. <laughs> um, Yamato was pretty much pledging her loyalty to uh Momonosuke, like keeping him safe yes. throughout this whole thing which is pretty cool yeah yep. she just like for Nakama. exactly she like smashes the other guys through the yeah. wall that was pretty much it for the chapter though yeah and then yeah it was just uh standard queen zombies apparently a poo mm. has the cure but that was oh that's right Zoro was chasing a poo <laughs> yeah that's kind of by uh, any means necessary to get that back an easy fight for Zoro honestly yeah, 100%, I agree. You know, as long as he um, somehow avoids the sound. So. I mean, Zoro's good at ignoring stuff when he wants to, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, what else? Yeah, that was about it. So, pretty keen to get into this because One Piece this year has been very fleeting. Yeah, it's been a bit different with all the manga cutdowns at the start of the year and then the releases yeah. have been out. Questionable. Yeah, it's either it Thursday, just, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. <laughs> it just comes out whenever the hell it wants to now. Yeah. You know? There's no um, concurrent release schedule. I think it's kind, of, it's kind of hurt the whole community, honestly. But yeah. I guess what so you can, much you do, can do about it. Because, like, if you don't do these scans, like, from Reddit, then you wait for the viz. Everyone's already read the chapter for four days. Yeah. Like, no one cares anymore. Yeah. To a degree. So it's just, like... But, yeah, alright, let's quickly do the Discord. So, Discord down below, got a high school Tower of God coming back soon, we hope. Um, solo <laughs> leveling is popping off, One Piece, of course. We have poll polls for the um, next series we're going to do. Right now, I think Hardcore Leveling Warrior has pulled ahead. Oh, has it? <laughs> yes, it was ahead of Jujutsu this morning when I checked. Oh, yeah, it still so, is. Pretty oh. interesting. <laughs> That came it was behind like two days ago and then it pulled ahead. Yeah, I was, was like, damn. <laughs> all right. It's impressive. All right. Uh, we have Twitch live streams here and here. I don't know if I'm pointing, but you know, we'll, you know. They're around somewhere. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. You ready? It is time for one piece. Let's do it. Here we go. Chapter 995 Knoichi's Oath. The extremely popular Color Walk Tiger and One Piece magazine volume. Ten are now on sale. Nice. This is cover art request by Akumama from Setagaya. Luffy tries to study, but he quickly gets bored. Sounds like everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you got the squirrels. He stole his hat. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Out of my way. Uh, what lies beyond that deafening roar? Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay! We got so Marco Mark and Big Mom are squaring off. I still don't know what role I'll be playing in this war, but I know even more than they do just how dangerous you can be. Okay. That's a casual, you know? It's just a casual clash. Okay. I mean, Zeus is tuckered out there, understandable. Is she. She looks like she's getting pushed back a little bit. A little hot a little for bit. you. Okay. Uh, Prometheus? Why does it hurt? His flames are burning, Prometheus? Look at him. Interesting. You see, my phoenix flames are unique. You bastard, how dare- <gasps> Wait, she grabs him. Oh, he just- <laughs> oh, Marco? <laughs> just grabs him. Perispero. Uh, choke slam. Yeah, Perispero finished him off, understood, and then he's got um, a bow. And he okay. says, Mama? Hmm. Mm okay big spread um too bad marco looks like i'll be taking mama's side now oh crap 
What, what do you mean, oh crap? And then it says the full moon. I mean, he is being held by the neck by Yoko. Yeah. That's kind of an oh crap moment. <laughs> uh, you're someone I've wanted to kill on different occasions in the past. How ironic. And then... Oh, what is one... this? Carrot and... And Wanda. I don't know her name. Wanda. Okay. Moon Raid. <laughs> what is this? Monodaba. So they nice. strike Perish Sparrow, it looks like. Oh, they went for his eyes. <laughs> you crazy wench. Huh? You're that mink. Oh. Sulong. Oh? Why is she having, like, flashbacks right now? PTSD? And she, the first thought isn't even of, like, Perish Sparrow. It's like Sulong. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, damn. Oh. So the that's panel. him. Pedro's killer. They look clean. Yes. If it wasn't for him. That uh, idiot Pedro blew himself up oh. and it was I who suffered the consequences. <laughs> I know that Pedro's sacrifice is somehow related to this war. Keep moving forward. Who are you? Uh, your master Nekamushi's friend, Marco, is it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, so annoying. To be on the sidelines of the battlefield. Dude, she is moving. Look at yeah. Zeus. Don't involve me in your squabbles. Do whatever you want. Marco, if you want to kill me, do it some other time. I don't have any souls to use against you right now. Oh, interesting. Wait, what, is, what does that mean? Like, She's out of juice. Out of homies, I guess. Does that make her weaker? Hmm. Uh, I guess maybe she would, like, absorb their souls for more power. Anyway, she's hmm. flying off on Ze a busted Zeus and Prometheus. Go on ahead, Marco. We'll take care of this guy. I mean, he's hmm. he's on the floor. I mean, he, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to get low diffed. And then someone's screaming, Ah, oh, help me. I'll turn into a demon. Is that Zeus? Look at where the speech box yes. is coming from. Yeah, it is Zeus. What the hell is that? Um, okay. uh, inside the dome, live stage. Capture Scratchman Apu. Oh, Don't actually, let him get away. They're actually okay. super close to where... I thought they were much Oh, is that the same spot? That. Yeah, is that the... Is that the arena? I don't, I don't know opinion? if that's the same spot. It might be. Huh. Okay. Okay, so we've got Zorro. Uh, 720 pound cannon. Nice. Scratchman <laughs> dodges. Ooh. That was close. Like, hits him just to the side. Sir Poo. We are allies, aren't we? Please give us the antibody. If I give it to you, I'll be killed. There's murderous intent everywhere I look. Queen, that friggin' lunatic. Uh, please give me the antibody. I don't want to die. It's cold. Hang in there. We'll get the antibody for you. Wait a poo. And then he's using his power on the his own lads. As yep. he does. Boom. Classic a poo. Uh, hand it over. Oh, Drake's here with Zoro. Nice. nice. Oh. Well, no. 2v1. I don't yeah. think that's necessary, but yeah, sure. Well, wait, stop. Uh, Two on one is a bit much. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. Uh, I want to back up Kinemon and the others. Fighting you will only waste my time. Oh, he's got those... Oh, I forget what you call those. Oh, I know. I can't remember what they're called either. Uh, yeah, you see them sometimes in, like, kung fu movies. Like, yeah. Stick, yeah. We'll skip that. I think police right? have them as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Drake's transforming. Oh. Uh, I've always hated you. <laughs> Likewise, you fool. Okay. Drake, that turncoat. He just flips sides as soon as he got caught. Well, no shit. <laughs> yeah, I wonder <laughs> What do you why? think he's going to do, beg? <laughs> he knows he's done. He's got to change. Uh, so he's Rorono Zoro, huh? It's best to crush the second and third fighter third best fighters early on Vin Smoke Judge who would have thought his son is part of this crew uh, did, did did Queen just rank Zoro and Sanji second and third <laughs> yeah, so Zoro second right. Sanji third Ooh. confirmed <laughs> uh oh uh, ah, I thought I was going to become a demon but look I'm fine Brooke <laughs> what oh, so it doesn't affect Brooke that's pretty good since you don't have either skin, blood vessels, or body heat, you're the same as a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. Uh, I'm a little offended by that fact. Regardless, I'm invincible. Oh, yes. yes. 
Uh, the virus rapidly spreads because the body freezes. Is that even possible from within the body? Oh. Uh, Chopper, what happened to your arm? Huh? Eh? Oh, no. I didn't even notice it. Ah, Chopper's done for. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. This could be good for him finding a cure. He experiences symptoms first, but it's probably not good. Interesting. Uh, okay, instant kill green star. Okay, we've got Usopp somewhere. Uh, versing... What's this chick's name again? Is that ulti? Ulti, ulti, yes. Um, so devil. Green star devil. And then oh. she's getting eaten by the plant. Help me, Pepe. Pei. <laughs> I did it. I got a... Usopp's been through the ringer. Apparently, yeah. off screen. Yeah. Again, smash. Uh, melt away just like that. And oh. then... Uh, Pei Pei comes in, bites the plant. You don't really need my help, do you? Hmm. And he's like, crap, my devil. Damn it, how about this? Bamboo javelin. I mean, it's it's annoying them. Hmm. What a, what a boring technique. What? Ulti? Not again. Skull cannon. Oh, Usopp tanks that. Oh, well. I don't think he's tanking sorry. that, dude. Usopp takes that. <laughs> he takes that, yeah, that's a... <laughs> Skull Usopp cannon. eats that shit. Ooh. Oh. Wait, what the hell happened to Nami? They're both on the floor. But how can you both be on the floor? <laughs> the <laughs> thing just started. Okay, so Usopp is... That ain't... Oof. Yike, he's out for a while. He has to be. So Nami's on the floor. Usopp. Uh, hey, woman. Gah, stop. Don't kill me. I give up. You win. My boy is just legging okay. in. Oh. Way to state the obvious. Say it then. I'm pissed off right now. Mm. Your captain, he says he'll beat Master Kaido and become the Pirate King. Please, please, please. I'm sorry, he's just an idiot, so please don't headbutt me. Please, we'll even leave this island. If you headbutt me again, I'll definitely die. Then say it. Say that your captain will never become Pirate King. Oh, here we go. Yes. Uh, Luffy. He'll... Uh, that's it, Nami. It's okay to lie. She's remembering Usopp. We've already come so far. Be tactful or you'll really lose your life. Luffy. Luffy? Become the Pirate King, definitely. <laughs> 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 what? So that's how it is. Then die now. Nami, you idiot, run away. <laughs> oh. And okay. then it's him. He definitely will. Or Nami. Oh. Wait, how is she here? Get her, Komuchio. And then a big lion goat thingy just eats it. What? Where did the little girl come from? Where did Otama get here? Is does that mean the blacksmith's here as well? Huh? that girl tama why are you here a dog <laughs> okay oh, i'm confused where did she even come from we haven't seen her in a very long time how did she get here though like question. you literally have to take ships to get here if she's here the blacksmith like who... must be here yeah mm. okay I, I did like this part with Nami there. That was pretty. Wait, the blacksmith. Nice. The blacksmith has um. The other one. The right? other kaitets uh, nitetsu thing, like the sword. I'm pretty sure. Like yeah, he like held the one Zoro needed. And then, yeah, he gave the other one to Zoro. Hmm. Okay, like respect for Nami. Definitely. Yeah. Nami has good. some good. Powers. Had to go down. Respect for yeah. Usopp. Look at him. He's still crawling around after taking yeah. that hit. Yikes. Yeah. His head must be hurting. It, do it does beg the question, though. If, you know, they can't really deal with, like, someone like... I guess Ulti is pretty strong. These aren't... But... Their regular opponents, by far. Like, mm. usually they're matched up with someone who's generally in the same role as them. Mm. These two are just powerhouses. But it's like, you know, at this point, you kind of have to be matching up with these guys because, like, your crew is like, you know, 10, 11 people. And, you know, Zor like, Luffy's got to go match up against the main dude. 
or yeah. like one of the commanders first, and then Zoro and Sanji have to match up against commanders with Jinbei. I yeah. So if these guys aren't even commanders. You got you kind of have to match up with them. You're right, but I feel like these two are much more playing a supporting kind of role rather than an actual. Like obviously they're not real fighters. Hmm. Um. The best bet for these two characters at the moment, because they're so supportive, is to help someone else in a fight instead of actually doing the fighting themselves. But then it's not yeah. a 1v1. This is true. Okay, I can understand that reasoning. Mm. But it's still like... Mm. Then they should never leave, like... Yes. <laughs> one of the main, like, one of the main, like, heavy hitters. Yeah, pretty much. They were... The last we saw them, they did get separated... They were, like, mm -hmm. being chased by Big Mom. And then they got smashed through something, and now they're right in front of whole team page run. These two are not pushovers. Like, they tanked hits from Gear 4 Luffy. I'm pretty sure they're, like, way out of Nami Usopp's league. Yeah, okay. I can definitely see that. Huh. But... Alright, well, yeah. Reddit time, then. Let's see what uh, other people have to say about yeah, chapter. Boss, head over. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Top comment of Reddit. Love how Nami stood her ground. You go, girl. <laughs> yeah, definitely a good scene. Very cool. This is the most beat up Nami that we've seen, right? Yeah, pretty much. I think so. Uh, like, that. that's... Obviously, Arlong was much more mental, but this is, like, the most physical, <laughs> yeah, that we've seen. Uh, Queen over here acknowledging Zoro and Sanji as top priority opponents. The man. Yes, and rank rank exactly. <laughs> you rank them number two and three. <laughs> uh, makes you think Queen might have some connections with Judge, considering they're both engineers and create some wild designs. That could be true. Hmm. Tama of the Hundred <laughs> Beasts has come to end this war. This is what like her her yeah. ability though could really change like a lot this is what we've been you know? afraid of the whole time otama mm -hmm. coming here because <laughs> now that she is here all they have to do is go tama give me a dango give it to luffy luffy chucks it in kaido you know it's Done. over it's over friendly ally yonko by the way <laughs> mm. yeah uh, watching Usopp skull shatter into a thousand pieces like a Mortal Kombat fatality is actually hilarious and painful at the same time. Yeah. Seeing him still alive afterwards is comforting, but he might want to book an MRI sometime soon. He's going to need, like... Yeah, Chopper needs to have a look at that ASAP. But Chopper has his own problems right now. Um... Ooh. Alright, last one, I think. <laughs> We need to talk how about how incredible of a moment this is for Nami's character arc. Because this was one of the most impressive displays of putting your life on the line I've seen in a story filled with that theme. Nami started the story as a pragmatist who couldn't even put faith in Luffy to save her, much less her own life on the line for what mattered. But she grew. During Alabaster, she fought Miss Doublefinger, recognizing that it was her that it was on her to fight alongside the rest. In Skypiea, she truly understood the meaning of putting her life on the line, proudly declaring herself on Luffy's side rather than give and give in to Enel and pretend to work for him just to live. Since then, she's only gotten gotten stronger of character. But this was a new level of it. She didn't just have her life in the hands of an enemy in battle. She had to make a choice: simply say a set of words and live, or put her faith in Luffy, not just to fight. Not even to save her from the predicament she was in, but to simply believe that Luffy will become the Pirate King no matter what. She was willing to put her life on the line for that, not just risk it, but seemingly face certain death. Hmm. Oh, you can read this one. Nami's fucking awesome. True. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Very... I want, to, I want to say that was a good chapter. Um... Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's good. We got, we started off, yeah, like, uh, Carrot, Wanda, and Big Mom mm. and Marco on the beach. Yeah. That's a good start to a chapter. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, not much has and happened in regards to the zombie situation, like, yeah. 
Chopper's still... Well, now he's got less of a time limit to fix everyone. Mm. The whole Marco and Big Mom encounter was pretty interesting. Yes. As well as um, Perispera getting his eyes sliced. Yes. Uh, that that seems very one-sided right now. Perispera mm-hmm. was both of those. Mm-hmm. Sure, it was a sneak attack that they landed, but they cut it around his eyes, like, yep. Gen 8 scene. Um, mm. And then, yeah, we didn't really see Luffy or Yamato in that. It was mm. a main focus on Nami, like, declaring her belief in Luffy, which was really cool. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, there's not much else to say for this. Um, like, I, I, di- I didn't think it was a short chapter. But mm. again, with so many, like, people you have to follow, you only get two pages on each person. Yeah. Yeah, it skips around. Because you've literally got, like, six, seven groups right now. Yeah. And it's just, like... And we didn't even it's a, get it's to, a like, shit show. the main ones in this chapter. Yeah. It's literally a shit show. I wonder if... <laughs> Going, like, the hunter-hunter route would be better. Focusing one area at a time. Yeah. Completely. And then just completely, then... <laughs> like, progressing the story that way. And then you swap, like, while this is happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm, uh... I, think, I wonder if that would have been the play. Because, like, it's just... At this point, you know, you've got so many people in play that it's a shit show. That's, that's pretty much what the wars have been. Like, even though the Straw Hats weren't there for the war, the focus was very much on Luffy. But you still saw, like, briefly... But it wasn't even, fights. like... It wasn't even that, though. Like, like the focus isn't even on Luffy at this point. It's just, like, yeah, the focus no. is spread out so far against the Straw Hats that it's just, like... Because, yeah. like, if you go back to the Marineford War, like, literally 80% of the Marineford War was Luffy. Yeah. And then you had, like, a bit of Ace, and then whoever was, like, saving Ace or, like, working around Ace, and then Whitebeard. Yeah, you had the panels of all the other Whitebeard pirates kind of coming together every now and again. Yeah. The focus was more on Luffy, Buggy, the Yeah, and how he was, like, progressing through it. And now it's just, like, well, you've got so many freaking pieces, like, to go with. It's, like... If you look at, um, Dressrosa, though, I guess that could kind of be set up similar, because before Luffy even got to fight Doffy everyone else had to finish their fight like he wanted luffy to have the limelight for when it was time law and luffy got up there when it started law had the flashback but everyone else had finished their fight before luffy's even really started yeah i guess you're right on that i guess that whole period of like luffy climbing Dofi's castle yeah. was really long as well <laughs> that last i guess we're just so having one of those periods again yeah, we're definitely in still in like a build up before any hype moments come. We're setting up situations where they can come from. Mm. And Otama arriving doesn't quite fill me with hope, but it opens up a lot more options for the way that they're going to go. Look, with there's it. no way she's going to be useful against Kaido. I feel like she's more useful against the lower level characters. Like, she might be useful against like Ulti or Tate. Um, Pepe. Pepe, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, they're just so fodder at this point that it's like me. <laughs> yeah, but we'll see. Because you got to Someone has to deal with these other characters, and it can't be like Zoro, Sanji, and Jinbei. They got priorities because, upstairs. You know, you got King Queen to deal with, and yeah. then you got to go kill the big fish upstairs. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so it's like, and the one coming back inside right now. <laughs> yeah, like Tom has only shown up here to help the lower level Straw Hats clear out, like um the medium level opponents which is very interesting Even... to see because she's not strong herself like I, I i would say that ulti can get out of that dog's mouth like what is the dog gonna do <laughs> she's a dinosaur it's not even that it's just her ability yeah that's that's the only real threat that they have but they're gonna eat it hmm. true i mean Usopp can just shoot it in their mouth right that is very you make a good point. <laughs> That's Oops, probably... Oh, that dude, imagine if Ushop shoots one of those into Kaido's... <laughs> while he's doing, like, a light. It's not going to work on Kaido, though. I hope not. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah. Kind of went on a tangent there, but... Yeah. Um, I think that's it for this video. Let us know down below what you thought of the chapter and the video. And we will see you for God of High School. Alrighty. 
Thanks for watching, lads. Catch you next time.